praise God. November is also the month of Thanksgiving, where we remember to have so much to be thankful for, even in uncertain times. This month, we will be learning these five main points. I am wonderful because God made me. I am safe because God watches over me. I am confident because God leads me. I am forgiven because God loves me. I am not afraid because God can be trusted. Let me be saved we can praise God. We will be talking about new psalms each week. Psalms were songs and a lot of what expressed in there we can relate to today. Today's main point is I am wonderful because God made me. Let's check out Psalms 139 and hear what it has to say. Kids, we started our new series, Sing, and like the girls said, it's all about the book of Psalms. And the book of Psalms is in the Old Testament. One of the things I like is when you open your Bible, it's pretty much in the middle. So you go like that, and you have a chance that you're going to hit Psalms. And a couple of other things about Psalms, it is written by David. You might be familiar with his name from our last series. We talked about King Solomon and wisdom, and David was his dad. He wrote a lot of these psalms, and the psalms were praises. They were songs, poetry, expression, and a lot of what he felt in these psalms we can relate to today. Today's main point is I am wonderful because God made me, and we can pre praise God because he made us. We're going to be talking about Psalm 139, so if you want to go ahead and hit the pause button, you can follow along with me. All right, are you there? We're going to start with verse 1. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my every thought when far away. You chart the path ahead of me and tell me where to stop and rest. Every moment you know where I am. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You both proceed and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful me, for me, too great for me to know. So he knows a lot about us, right? We're going to go ahead and go to verse 13. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. And if you know anything about the human body, it is super complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, and how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They are innumerable. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up in the morning, you are still with me. God loves you guys, and he knows so much about you. He knows every hair on your head. He knows everything about your body. And when he made you, he knows your thoughts. And he is so proud that he made you. And he made us all so different. We're all unique. Right? If you look at your family, even if you have a twin, they don't look exactly like you, right? They don't act exactly like you. He made us all unique. And isn't that so cool that God created just you and he knew who you would be before you were even born when you were in your mother's womb? I think about my kids. I love them so much. But there's a lot that I don't know about them. I don't know the number of hairs on their head. I probably can't remember everything about their life. I forget things they have to remind me. I still love them, but God loves them even more. Do you guys know what a masterpiece is? It could be something's a masterpiece that someone cooked, or it could be like a piece of art, like the Mona Lisa. It's something that is extravagant and great. And we are God's masterpiece. God put a lot of work into us, a lot of thought, and a lot of love, and a lot of uniqueness, right? And that's you. You are his masterpiece. We can be thankful because God made us. 
I hope you can think about one thing you're thankful for this week about yourself. What is something you love about yourself that God created you that is not like anyone else? And if you're having trouble thinking of something, ask your parents, ask your siblings. I'm sure they can think of something that is just about you that's not like any other. I hope you guys have a great week. And remember that you can be thankful because God made you. I am unique and you are unique. Something unique about me is I lack spiders. Something unique about me is I like snakes. Let's hear from some of our leaders something that is unique about them. Hi, I'm Jazz. I'm, what is unique about me is my hair. ka -chow. I have two Thomas Tiffany. What is unique about me? I don't know what to say. Do you guys know what's unique about you guys? The Dodgers and the Dodgers is just wonderful. I can do this. Yeah, I do love the Dodgers. Oh, that's cool. It's so weird. What's and unique about you? Me? Yeah. Um, I'm really good at Fortnite. <laughs> You're really good at Fortnite? <laughs> Do you know what's weird? Uh, Your hair unique. Goes, oh. Do you know what's unique? Your hair is too long for a lot of books. We just had chocolate cake. So my hair is long enough to make a tool of you. I'm a Dodger fan, so that's what's yeah. unique about me. Oh, yeah, I'm a Dodger fan. Okay. I'm a Dodger Hey Calvary Kids, something unique about me is I used to play the accordion. God made us all so different. Did you know that each of our fingerprints are different too? Use a stamp and compare your fingerprints to your families. God made even the smallest parts of, of us unique. Let's check out our memory verse. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout out loud to the rock of our salvation. Psalms 95.1 Don't forget to memorize your verse and remember that you are wonderful because God made you. We can praise and thank God because he has made us and made us so unique. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you were paying attention. What are psalms? Did you say expressions, songs, praises? Name some of the things Psalms 139 says God knows about us. He knows when we sit up, when we sit down, our thoughts. What is one thing about yourself that you're thankful to God for?